How's it going everyone? So as you can tell from the title of today's video, we are selling one of our sobs. Let me do a quick rundown on the sobs that we have. We actually have six total as a family and we're currently looking to downsize a little bit because well, unfortunately when you have six sobs, a Miata and a motorcycle as a family and a three car garage with three garage spaces or driveway spaces that just doesn't really add up. So we're selling one of our cars and you guys might be able to see what it is in the reflection of my sunglasses already, but I'll go ahead and show it to you all now. It is my dad's 2003 Saab 93 convertible. So a little brief overview on the OG 93 as a whole. Uh, this is a 2003, so it was the last year of the OG 93. If you've been following the channel or if you know a bit about 93s and Saabs, you'd know that 2003 is actually the first year of the new generation 93, the sports sedan. But in 2003, Saab was still producing the old generation convertible. So the only old generation 93s that are out there that are 2003s are convertibles. So this car comes with Saab's B205, I believe it is. Don't shoot me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's the B205 motor or B204. I think it's the 205 though, uh, which is a two liter turbo. I can find the hood release, there we go. Two liter turbo, it's a pretty decently quick car if I'm being completely honest. I mean, this car will definitely spin the tires. Granted, the front tires are completely shot, but it will definitely spin the tires in first gear. I'll go ahead and play a video of that for you guys now. I'm gonna try to hold on the wheel with one hand and record. Yeah, so <laughs> it made like no noise because the B205 is like the quietest motor in human history, I think. But uh, it definitely spun the tires pretty good there. So I can't believe I didn't mention this already, but if you guys are interested in purchasing this car potentially, uh, I'll leave a link to the Craigslist ad at the very top of the description, so make sure to click on it. Uh, you can get a quick description of the car, which will be pretty much everything that I'll already talk about in this video, but you'll get some more pictures of it and whatnot. But if you don't already know, I am located in Phoenix, Arizona. So, of course, take that into consideration when you're looking at it. But this specific car has 144,000 miles on it, and my dad is asking $1,900 for it, which if I'm being completely honest, it's price to sell. I think that's a really good price. So I guess I'll go ahead and start out with the bad, what this car needs. As I already mentioned, it needs front tires. And when I say it needs front tires, I mean it really needs front tires. These tires are bad. My dad also said it needs front brakes. Um, the brakes obviously don't look great, but they're not terrible. So it needs tires worse than it needs brakes. And also it could use a little bit of love in the paint department. You'll see on the hood, clear coat's just starting to fade right up here as well. Clear coat's starting to fade. You have a little bit on the bumper up here as well. I just wanna go over all the small spots in case you guys are legitimately interested. You know, there's just here and there. I mean, it's it's a 16 year old car, so the paint's not gonna be perfect. So I take the back, there's actually two more downsides. One of them being the top does not completely work. Now you OG93 experts will probably know what's wrong and will probably be like, oh, it's a $3 fix. Oh, it's tech two, whatever. But basically from what I understand is wrong with it, it works. It'll go down. The only problem is that it doesn't lock. It won't lock itself shut. So I don't know what exactly is wrong with that. Um, if you guys want more information, of course, and you're interested in the car, click on the ad. My dad's contact information is in there so you can you know, ask him all the questions you want. Now on to the last bad thing before I move to, you know, obviously the good. I like to get the bad out of the way first because I don't want to get people's hopes up and then destroy them when I mention like the couple things that are wrong with it. If you guys have been following the channel for a while, or if you have really good memory, you might remember that this car was actually rear-ended it's been at least a year, I think, since that happened. So you can tell there's a bit of damage on the rear bumper here. Not really damage, I mean, it's structurally the bumper is good, uh, but some paint messed up here, messed up here. The trunk lid got bent in a little bit. So this trunk is actually off an OG93 from a scrapyard and it paint matches just about perfectly. 
I mean, obviously same color code and all. So this was a very minor accident. You know, he didn't get rear-ended at like 50 miles an hour or anything. Uh, it was a very, very minor accident. So the car still has a clean title and everything, but that's just something I figured I would disclose to you guys because if I was buying a car, you know, even though the car, like I said, is completely fine, structurally fine, you know, it's not falling apart back here or anything. Uh, it's just something that I figured I should mention to be completely transparent. So now let's move on to some of the good. One of the best things about this car, and one of the things that I most appreciate about it living in Phoenix, is the air conditioning. The air conditioning in this car is phenomenal. Some of the best air conditioning I've ever felt. Another big upside, five-speed manual. Now, actually, since I'm on the topic of this, I want to mention that it has a new clutch. Since my dad's owned it, he's owned it for about 20,000 miles. Once again, it's got 144 on the clock. Radio also works, cup holder surprisingly works, being an OG 9.3, uh, although the SID has some pixels burned out, you know, just normal OG 9.3 stuff. So I have the ad right here, I just want to mention some of the work that my dad has done since he's owned it. So like I said, new clutch, fuel pump, lower control arms, AC compressor, and water pump, uh, no check engine light, and for you East Coast sobbers, you might be a little bit jealous of this, since it's been in Arizona for a very long time. Zero rust. So this car is structurally sound, it's mechanically sound, it's a very, very good car. I've really enjoyed, you know, obviously I haven't driven it a ton the last couple years that we've had it, but I've really, I, I really like this car and I wish we didn't have to sell it. So I realize I haven't walked around the car a ton while I've been doing this, so I'll just walk around and talk more about, not necessarily this car, but maybe like our future Saab plans as like a family, if that makes sense. So my dad for a while has been wanting to get a Project Saabs of sorts, like a Copart 9.3, like a Sport Combi. He really likes the Sport Combis. Um, or maybe a Dame 9.5 or an NG 9.5 off a of Copart. So once we sell this car, and we might also sell our 9.5 wagon, I'll put a picture of that on the screen right now. That car, I don't know when we're gonna sell that. I'll do a video on it like I'm doing for this though when we do sell it, so if you're interested, just stay tuned for that. But I'll go ahead and let you know right now, that car is nothing special. It's got 260,000 miles on it, and it shows. So yeah, after we sell this car and the 9.5 wagon at some point in the future, we'll have room to do a project sob and you know like I said we don't really know exactly what we'll do with that uh, any suggestions you have down below in the comments would be greatly appreciated but that's kind of like what we've thought that's like what we're thinking um, so that's that's kind of one of the reasons for selling this car so I think that's all I've got for you guys today if you're interested like I said the ad is linked at the very top of the description. You can contact my dad via that. But with that being said, guys, I'm gonna be sad to see this car go, but hopefully it goes to a loving Saab enthusiast and a good Saab home. So that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I'll see you all next time.